seven years ago and over, I drew these kind of pictures. And it was to explain how energy moves and how energy moves matter. Now, all of these were vortex to a rollover halo wave. So it's a vortex up, and then when it meets an energy or matter barrier, it rolls over to form this picture in the center. So if you look from the top, you would see kind of like a smoke ring. So again, on the right here, we have a vortex. This is actually the reverse of a uh, wave to a vortex. But the precise point of how I've said energy must travel has always been a vortex to a wave, basically a set of ram's horns. That's how it would look. Now, I applied this theory that God gave me that this is what he showed me in visions and said, this is how all energy travels. Well, I went through all plant life and all biological life and it fitted everything and a vortex to a wave to an Ouroboros field to an Ouroboros ring to an Ouroboros sphere is how all things are created and can be applied to any plant, any biological unit. So my visions from God were always that energy travels from a vortex to a wave. Then one day, while I was browsing the internet, I saw ferro cells and magnets. And I decided to see if this double helix energy theory of vortex to wave um, was happening on a magnet. Because I'd always seen the magnetic field of the Earth to be explained this way. Now, as we can see, the lines of magnetism go round the Earth in big circles. Now, God had shown me that a vortex came out, let's say, of the North Pole, and then it formed ram's horns that went down to the equator. And then on the other side of the Earth would be an upside-down set of ram's horns, a vortex to a wave that met at the equator. That's what God had showed me. But looking at this picture, it shows that the field goes all the way round. And I was told that this was a reciprocating field, and it did not meet at the equator, on a magnet, this is termed the inertial line. That's the equator of the magnet that separates north from south. So when I saw this, I suddenly thought, maybe I've gone crazy and it doesn't work and I've made it all up. But I remember I had like several hundred videos made about plant life and how all the rotations of magnetism placed or moved matter. And so to see this kind of field that was being taught to every person in kindergarten all the way up to universities and beyond, uh, this was the correct field. Well, I didn't believe it. So I took a ferro cell and I built myself a light box. I bought a pile of magnets and a load of LEDs and I put it all together. And this is one of the uh, pictures from that light box that I made. And as you can see, the uh, supposed magnetic field is displayed either side of the magnet, north and south. Now, after seeing this, I thought, how can I check to see if there's anything at the inertial line of a magnet? Because you see, what God had shown me in visions said that there was no field at the inertial line, at the equator of the magnet where north meets south. And I thought, well, on Earth, there's storms all around the equator. So that would make my theory correct, because that's where the ram's horns waves meet at the equator. And then they lock into the south field, because, of course, north and south fields lock into each other. So the north field would lock into the south field at the equator and create storms. So what did I do? Well, I built a ferro cell with a hole in it. There you go, ferro cell with a hole, two pieces of glass with ferro cell in, uh, ferro fluid in it. And uh, I put a hole in it. And then I put a magnet through it. And do you know what I saw? I saw that the field, when it hit the center of the magnet, the field that was displayed on the ferro cell completely disappeared. I made that video and I put it up and some guy didn't believe me. He made uh, magnet videos and ferro cell videos too. I wish I could remember his name, uh, but I can't. And if you're watching, give me a show because he made a video of exactly the same layout, but he'd been doing it longer. So his ferro cell showed a lot more than mine did. 
So I'm going to show that video now, which I have on my channel on a full video, showing what happens when you put a magnet through a ferro set. So what you're seeing on screen is a full magnet, north up, south down, being passed through a ferro cell with a hole in it. As the magnet gets to the center of the ferro cell and the inertial line of the magnet lines up with the ferro cell center, the field completely disappears because the field cannot go all the way round in a circle because you're talking about a north and south field. So they must lock into each other. And the only place they will lock will be at the equator, the inertial line of the magnet. So if anyone believes that this is the shape of a magnetic field, which is all of science, you now have to understand that God showed me that you're all incorrect. Unless, of course, somebody can explain why the field disappears on a magnet when you put it through a ferro cell. Because if it's circular, like everybody has been taught, the field wouldn't disappear at the center of the magnet. That's where the field would be at its most widest. So this is a uh, challenge to Simon Dan because he likes to make fun of videos where I only talk. So here's some evidence with some proof, a scientific observation that completely debunks a reciprocating field like the geomagnetic field that we are seeing on screen. Because as you passed it through the magnet, you would see the widest part of the field, which would be at the inertial line of the magnet. And it does not do that. It goes in, in until it completely disappears. Because that's where they meet and scroll up their waves. And that's why there are storms on the equator. So, Simon Dan with zero qualifications in any scientific field. I think you got a couple of O-levels, didn't you? Uh, please explain why uh, you believe in a geomagnetic field after I've just shown Nobel Prize winning evidence that the entire world has been taught an incorrect magnetic field. Magnets don't do that. So I have full authority of talking about magnetic fields and energy travel. So anybody coming to my channel and saying that oh, you believe in God and all this other stupid nonsense that comes out of their mouths rather than watching any videos, please reply to this video and tell me why that magnetic field disappeared if the field is supposed to look like this, completely round. And if you put it through a ferro cell, the widest part would be at the inertial line. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ and I'm showing you all the things he showed me. Thanks a lot. Bye.